They got all these banners about them being blue. Hey, man, blue is not a uh, 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 JFK. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, FDR and JFK anymore. It's, not even. You know, Democratic Party. What's with these people's mentality? These Democrats that say that and they're loyal to the party. party, and that's their problem. They're loyal to the party. That's correct. Parties are the problem. Yes. Money obviously is the problem. Yes. Hillary hasn't mentioned busting up the banks, bringing back Glass Steagall. She and has. She won't release what she said to the bank. She won't yes. release the uh, transcripts of the yeah. uh, was it Goldman Sachs? The ass kissing to Goldman Sachs and it's the uh, the private paid speeches. Yes. She has decided to to not. Well, of course, or otherwise uh, it would really expose her. She said she would look into it, which means no. That's correct. I, I remember what she said in, the, in, the, in the, the other debate. That is correct. You know, I, I knew right away that meant no. You know, she is not... Why, am I going to self-incriminate myself? You know? But that's kind of... that. You're kind of exposing yourself when you refuse to turn over transcripts. Yeah, but it ain't proved. See, the other way it's proved. Okay. I know. Thank you. Uh, but it brings up red flags. That's what Oh, no kidding, but she's got a lot of stinking red flags. You see, Bernie would have a field day. It would be a piece of cake if Bernie wanted to hit. I'm going to kill you, man. Get out of here. Get down. Jesus Christ. Cut the crap, man. Stop the shit. Get Stop the shit, and I mean it. Fucking cat. Get away from the cameraman. Get away from the cameraman! Cut it out! Jesus Christ. Stay in one He's messing place. up all the shit over there. No shit. Stay stay still, you neurotic fucking ghetto cat. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, what was I saying before? Yeah, so, uh, Dirty Tactics, um, uh, forgetting about... It, it's kind of <laughs> like when G.W. Bush was selected by the Supreme Court instead of giving the election to the elected by popular vote Al Gore and then of course Al Gore backed down and didn't contest it it's, it's kind of similar you know when you when you when you're using dirty tricks and you're just saying oh the oligarch says you know what all right, all Bernie reason. Sanders uh, technically won, but you know what? We're going to screw him over that's right and we're going to hand it over to our puppet. Does Congress do what the people want now? Especially Republicans, never. No, well, they never of do what the people want. So they don't listen to what the people want. But those people living so in rid of living in shacks keep on reelecting these. Uh, that is correct. Red state, rural, red state, redneck uh, voters. And there is the problem. There's the problem. All right. That is Let the us problem. sink our teeth. Probably have no time. But eh, we got time for maybe a couple before lunch. Before lunch, I have um, uh, uh, a sal uh, a salamami sandwich, or a salamones. I have a com I have a surf and turf sandwich today, which is a combination of a salmon cake and Genoa salami. Cool. Salam what? Salamami. What the hell? On twelve grain bread. Well, it was kind of spur of the moment because I was sperm in the moment. Sperm in the moment. I was busy multitasking and I didn't have. I, what happened was I had salmon cakes with brown rice last night and I had a little bit left in, in the bowl, you know, uh, the mix. And I ended up with, you know, just to clean the bowl out, I ended up with a small salmon cake. So I, fr I cooked it and I'm like, gee, what am I going to do with this little salmon cake? Eh, I'll st I stuck it in the sandwich and I put general salami on it. Right. I'll, we'll see how it is. I'm sure it's not going to kill me. Scientists. Science. Who have spent decades peering into outer space announced on Thursday they have detected gravitational waves. The ripples in space and time that Albert Einstein long ago predicted. We have a detected gravitational waves. We did it! David Ritzi, a physicist 
and executive director of the L.I.G.O. Scientific Collaboration announced. You must be very ostentatious looking, David Ritzy. You're all Ritzy and everything? To applause at the National Press Club in Washington. Gravitational waves often said to look like ripples in a pond are able to answer questions about creation of astronomical phenomena and disturbances such as the merging of black holes. Yikes. Collision of neutron stars, supernova explosions and more. Gravitational waves were discovered by physicist Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity a hundred years ago. All of Einstein's theory had been proved except for the presence of gravitational waves, but that changed on Thursday. It's mind-boggling, Ritzy said. Einstein was right, said Rainer Weiss, co-founder of LIGO, L-I-G-O, and a professor of physics emeritus at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Mm -hmm. His questions have worked so well in ways he never could have imagined, Weiss said. The discovery might be one of the major scientific discoveries in decades. Just as important as Galileo and his telescope 400 years ago. As we open a new window into astronomy, we may see things we've never seen before. The waves were detected by LIGO. The Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, which has facilities in Hanford, Washington and Livingston, Louisiana. Ritzy described how last September the 14th tiny blips of a signal, a, a chirp, were detected seven millisecs apart by the massive observatories in Louisiana and Washington State. I wish that's the loudest noise I heard around here is a chirp. The signal led scientists to the collision of two black holes more than a billion years ago. Yeah. Up until now, we have been dealing, I mean, excuse me, death to the universe. Today, we were able to hear for the first time. These black holes will reach about 93 miles in diameter, roughly 50 miles wider than the width of Washington, D.C. Pack 30 times the mass of the sun into that, <laughs> then accelerate it to about half the speed of light. And that is just for one black hole. Wow. That collision unnerved the nearby stars and caused ripples that spread outward, traveling for 1.3 billion light years, passing through stars and other objects until they reached the Earth and were detected that September day. It was the exact way Einstein had predicted that gravitational waves would be discovered. The gravitational waves detected agree perfectly with predictions from Einstein's theory of relativity. The waves were so tiny that only LIGO can measure them. It's like trying to measure something that is one ten thousandth of the diameter of a proton. The re 
research, researchers said they had all been shocked when they got the first reading in Louisiana. And they couldn't be sure LIGO was reading gravitational waves, not just environmental noise, until they could examine a second reading at the other observatory. We know it's real, because seven milliseconds later, we saw the same reading in the Hanford detector. This detection also proves that binary black holes, a system of two black holes orbiting each other, can exist. This is the first time a binary black hole has been directly observed. Until now, scientists have been space-time only as if it were the surface of a calm ocean. Now, he said, they are seeing a storm. The collision of the black holes, a 20 millisecond event that briefly generated 50 times the power of all stars in the universe put together. Science is incredible. LIGO can measure this ast astronomical storm using two L-shaped lasers about two and a half miles long, two mirrors and a detector. The light from the lasers bounces off a mirror to the detector. When a gravitational wave passes by, the path of the laser stretches slightly and hits the detector a little differently. All of this technology, of course, was not available to Einstein. This detection is just the beginning. Now that we have detectors, now that we know it's out there, we will be listening to the universe. Scientists have been working on detecting gravitational waves for 40 years, largely with the support of national science grants. Oh, something I'm sure the Republicans would like to do away with. Yeah, because... Um, because they don't believe in science. Science... It goes against their faith. Is, uh, well, science uh, also includes truth seekers. Science is proof all things. Yeah, Make well, facts, you know, facts, what, whether it be you know, medical science, psychology, uh, quantum physicists, uh, regardless, geology, science, scientists try to get to the root of everything and prove all things, like you just said. And proving all things and finding out the facts is involved with uh, exposing uh, dishonesty and corruption and and the Republicans definitely don't want to be exposed and a counterfeit fake uh, yeah fake fake exposing, count, yeah. fake phony counterfeit Christians yeah. that use the Bible as a front mm -hmm. um, they don't like that. They don't like that. No, do they, they do. They want that front. They want to hide behind it. People like Joel Olstein will be totally exposed Ooh. by the world, the word, the world of science. And he has. You wouldn't think it with all those fools that send yeah. money. Yeah. Anyway, we are seeing our universe through new eyes in an entirely new. Way Einstein would have been beaming. Well, all the great scientists um, are wonderful. All of them. Nikola Tesla, my favorite. Um, but anyway, um, oh, let's not forget the uh, the also uh, unfairly hidden. Dr. Wilhelm Reich. Wilhelm Reich. That was uh, cast into uh, prison secrecy 
Yes, that too. Uh, just like Nikola Tesla was kept in secrecy from uh, school textbooks, where the sellout Albert Einstein, uh, I'm sorry, where the sellout Thomas Edison took all the credit, and also the other sellout Alexander Graham Bell took the, took the credit for the telephone, and it was actually this Italian scientist who they robbed. This immigrant that didn't have a a pot to piss, a pot to piss in, but he had his one invention. Corporate America stole the invention of the telephone from him and uh, Alexander Graham Bell, who worked for the company that stole the man Italian guy's invention. He took the credit for it. He's, he's a f fake, phony, and a fraud. And guess who was in our history books? Both of them. Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison. And now we have to pay for phone calls. And, and, and taxpayers have to pay for those lies in textbooks that our kids, not my kids, but, you know, the uh, society's children in America are reading. Amazing. All right, want to go to lunch? No. You got, one, you got one more to shove in there? Governor Christie accused Marco Rubio of being the boy in the bubble. Well, he does have a boyish face. Which better describes Christie himself. Well, he's a bubble. <laughs> Christie's just the bubble. I don't know about a boy. He's more like a demon in a bubble. Only someone in a bubble with a terrible record as governor would talk about it in glowing terms and see himself as presidential material. Yeah, it might be dictator material or an emperor, but not presidential. For the past 18 months, Christie has been governor in name only. Having been out of state for nearly 300 days during that time, Nobody holds him accountable in New Jersey. His efforts have proven that his poor showing in both Iowa and New Hampshire indicate his low approval ratings in New Jersey have been matched in those states as well. Did you enjoy Christy talking about New Jersey like we are in uh, 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 are the in-laws that he hates, but is stuck with us? How about all of us paying room and board and travel expenses for his security detail while he continued his ego trip? And his law, uh, uh, his lawyers for the uh, for Bridgegate, was paid for by the taxpayers. Let's hope he gets the loud message uh, that people in other states are sending him. Go home! You know what? That's great that they're telling him to go home. Perhaps when he returns, he will govern without an eye on what will impress primary voters in other states. Hey, that's it. You're out. You're out. Maybe, um... Maybe there are people that have been standing up to the political bully Chris Christie, but the media never shows it. There are a lot of things happening that the media does not show. That is correct, sir. Mainstream. That is correct. And mainstream media is not the, the liberal media that Republicans call it. That, that's another one of their, their frauds. Their scams. There never was a liberal media. It's it's a corporate-owned media and, and controlled. And makes a lot of money in presidential ads, doesn't it? Yes. Campaign ads for politicians. Right. And and they favor and you. So they're see. not going to say anything you know, against no, that. No. That's why you have uh, after the debate. Was it CNN that George, uh, that, that pencil neck geek George Stephanopoulos works for? Was no. it CNN or M? He's in the MSNBC, I think. Well, anyway, uh, people like 
that douchebag uh, asshole. But he's, and, on a, he's like on Channel 7. Like a Anderson Cooper, Anderson Cooper, George Stephanopoulos, and a whole bunch of others that work for these major cable networks. Uh, supposedly liberal. Supposedly liberal or obviously pro-Hillary because maybe they're told that they must be pro-Hillary. Even, uh, even uh, what's her name, uh, Rachel Maddow is a little bit of a sellout by saying Bernie Sanders cannot win. You actually said that? That's what the article said. What article? On the internet. Well, I'd have to see that because I don't think she would uh, claim one or the other right now. So there are people, what you're saying is there are people, there are news publications been blatantly lying left and right. Well, that happens. It doesn't sound like Rachel Maddow to, to actually say this verbally. Correct. You know, I mean, I mean. There's only two states down, 48 more to go. Why would anybody be picking winners at this time? Right. So, oh, by the way, the reason why they fired um, uh, Ed Schultz is because he was pro-union? Correct. Really? Heaven forbid, heaven forbid an employee makes a decent living wage and gets benefits. Gee. Great. Gee whiz. And oh, what We've done without that for years and years in this country, haven't we? Yeah, did, did Hillary say something during the debate about, oh, the United States is not Scandinavia, we're not Sweden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in other words, she's like Sweden. trivializing. Well, to, to them people, to the corporatists, Sweden is communist. Communist. You mean if you if you give away, if you provide anything for the poor that's yes. free, but it's okay to provide free stuff to the rich. Absolutely. Like you told. Absolutely. Like you and I told off that that person on the Facebook group. Absolutely. That is okay. Yeah, oh, oh, us, oh, the, uh, uh, us uh, uh, progressive liberals and, 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 and po folk, we sure like all that free stuff. And then I came back at him and said, what about all the, the, the welfare and subsidies? What about that? Uh -huh. What about the tax havens? Uh -huh. What about the waste in government? What about the interest that we pay to, to have the Fed distribute money? When well, we can do it ourselves under the Constitution. Now, Bernie, we don't need to fail. Now, Bernie, no, you don't. Bernie Sanders mentioned the all the bloat and waste in the military. But no who, kidding. But who got the loudest crazy screams? We're going to improve the military. Hillary is the one that yeah. got the every time she made a the statement. Warmonger. Right. You could tell when Hillary is on the defensive, she shakes her head from left to right or right to left. She goes like this. Oh, that's hard for me to do. And then she, then she, she raises her voice and she starts yelling. But Bernie wasn't retaliating. Yeah, don't smear me. Bernie, don't smear me. No, Bernie wasn't retaliating. Bernie, you gotta, I got, you gotta take some supplements to get your testosterone up. You gotta, don't let this witch win. Anyway, we're one go. more. We're Quick. Go. Oh, one more. All right. I have always been told that in order to file. A resident tax return, you had to live and work in the state for at least six months and one day. Oh. However, it is a fact that Governor Christie was living out of the state for more than 200 days in 2015. Should he be required to file a non-resident return for 2015 and are the states he was entitled to a piece of his taxes as a non-resident given the fact he was in those states looking for a job interesting very interesting and I also hope Donald Trump proves that Ted Cruz is in fact a Canadian citizen a Canadian citizen. I don't think he's uh, going there. I mean, he, he, no, he, wants he brings to go. it up. He wants to go there. Well, then do it. He's got the money to do it. He can very easily do that. And if that happened, 
Say goodbye to Teddy. Hasta la vista. Old needle nose Ted Cruz. Bye bye. And uh, puppet face. Yeah, and well, Ryan is well now. I'm Ryan coming. has got the beard. Oh, aren't they calling him uh, Islamers? See, he With his beard? Looks like a terrorist. Well, he's he is a right wing American terrorist. Yes. Well, yeah, that. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go for lunch now. Well, we're gonna have lunch now. We're he, going to have lunch. And now you will hear, besides Steve the Cat, you will hear our uh, voiceover. Uh, artist uh, William Hamilton Morrow the third doing promo and his words of wisdom All right, and we'll see you for the balance of the show This is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living in the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye bye.